Hi everybody, it's Leslie and Hunter from Discovery Fabrics and today we're going to talk about what makes fabric UPF protective. So Hunter, we hear that all the time, what actually is UPF? So UPF is the ultraviolet protection factor and it's something in fabrics that protects ultraviolet or UVA and UVB. That's coming from the sun. So yes. those are the damaging rays that come from the sun. Yes. So what's the difference between say um, UPF and we hear SPF? So UPF is a fabric thing and it can be used for other things as well, but SPF is the protection of sunscreen and sunscreen only. Because it's got something to do with timing or? So SPF is the time that it takes when you apply a sunscreen to burn your skin or to wear off. So, so you have that protection for a certain amount of time. It's a limited time amount of protection. Okay, so when you're wearing a fabric, it's not a limited time that you're getting protection from the sun. No. The UPF factor is basically protecting you at all times from the sun yes. up to a certain amount. What would be considered um, a good UPF factor or a really good UPF factor? Generally, the best UPF that you want that is basically the best you can get would be about 40 to 50 UPF. Okay, and most of the fabrics that we have that we um, claim that are UPF protective are 50, 50 or minimum, yes. 50 or above. Okay, so that's great. So there's many different fabrics that we have that have UPF protection. So let's talk about some of these. First of all, um, we don't have any natural fabrics on this table. These are all synthetic performance yes. fabrics. Why are we doing a video about UPF and not having any natural fabrics on the table? Well, because mostly natural fabrics such as cotton, they absorb the UV rays and the heat, whereas synthetic ones such as polyester and nylon, they reflect the sunlight and don't absorb it. So that's just naturally, without yeah. any treatments or not considering any other factors, they just naturally are more UPF. Yes. Okay. So, so nylon, polyester, that's the kind of fabrics that we generally have in, um, in sun protective uh, offerings. So let's talk about what about the fabric or the knit helps make it UPF. What gives it that UPF factor? So generally in fabric, you want a really tight weave so that the damaging rays can't get through the fabric. So generally thicker or tight tighter woven fabrics will help that. So one of the things that you can do is generally, if you can see very well through the fabric, then generally it isn't a good one, whereas tighter woven ones will be better sun protective. Okay, well that makes sense. So the, the tighter the weave or the knit in this case, yes. because we have all knit fabrics here, the more sun protective it is. Yes. And uh, my understanding, a lot of the fabrics like Polar Tech, for example, is one of the brands that we have in a couple here. Um, they're, uh, fabrics. We have actually three uh, power dries here and you'll notice that you know white is actually one of the fabrics that has a minimum 50 UPF in the Polar Tech power dries. Now we hear that um, uh, obviously white reflects light. Yes. Uh, black absorbs light but darker colors tend to have more UPF. So yes, darker colors tend to have more UPF because they absorb the rays, but they're also very hot if you're to wear them in summer. So other fabrics that might do it better generally are, can be a little bit more shiny and brighter colors. And so that, that they helps reflect a bit? They help reflect more of the UPF rays and the heat okay. rather than absorbing them and warming your body. Okay. so. Um, we have some uh, some swim here. Um, our swim is UPF. It's also chlorine resistant and sunscreen resistant, which is really helpful. But I noticed that when we try to look through this, it's like pretty hard to see any light through yes. it. Um, but so this has 50 UPF minimum. But when you're wearing this, um, what are the factors that you would consider in a garment to that might decrease or increase the UPF of a garment? So generally, most fabrics, if you get them wet, will be the UPF protection will decrease greatly. And other things, generally, you don't want something that's a tight fitting garment. Because why? Because then when it stretches out over time, the fibers get pulled apart 
and it isn't as tight of a knit anymore. Well, even if you're stretching a knit, obviously more light is going to get through yes. there, right? Okay, so a tight-fitting garment um, can really affect uh, the UPF yeah. factor. And, and you're saying when it gets wet, it's even worse. Yes. So that's why if you were to buy a swim fabric, for example, that had no UPF protection, and you're wearing it tightly, and you're wearing it in the water, you're going to get a burn. Yes. That's right. Okay. So we have Power Dry that has UPF protection. It's hard to believe that you can get 50 uh, UPF out of this beautiful white wicking um, thin fabric, but this definitely has it. And I have a shirt made out of this and I can attest to the fact that it's really, really good in the sun. Um, we have our swim is all UPF. Um, this is also a swim here. This is Kaido Santé. Now Kaido Santé is, the, is a synthetic fabric that's treated with uh, shrimp and crab shell for its antibacterial yes. qualities, but it's also sun protective. Mm -hmm. Um, so would you say that that's got a lot to do with the weave? Can you see the sun through there or can you see through it easily? Just from looking at it, I can't see any light going through it. Okay, so it's going to give you that, that protection as well. Mm -hmm. But it also has some other properties that really help with that. Yes. And then what's the last one that we've got here? So this is Solar Stretch. So Solar Stretch is an athletic fabric yes. that has got minimum 50 UPF yes. as well. And this has got a fair amount of stretch too. So obviously, as Hunter mentioned, if you wear leggings, you're going to, you know, still have a, a really good coverage mm -hmm. for the sun. But a, but the tighter that you have that clothing, the more that decreases. Because when it says that it's 50 plus, it can be 60, 70, 80. Yeah. But it can change uh, depending on the garment that you're wearing. So thanks, Hunter. That's really good to know. Um, hope you liked that video and hope it taught you something about UPF fabrics. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.